Ah, selfie time! Did she say selfie? Now's my chance! You like bubbles? Ha! <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? Ugh! Gotcha! <laughs> Does this annoy you? Make it stop! Please, I can't take it anymore! What are you doing? Stop! You're gonna leave me like this? Oh, you're not getting away with this. Good thing this isn't too tight. Phew. Wait. I know. Maybe I can create something cool out of this stuff. Top of color, anyone? Just fill the bubbles up with paint. And the best part? No popping sounds! And look what I ended up with! A cute little happy face! And I can hang it up right here! Where'd she go? Cool! <gasps> After school means craft time! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Ugh. She's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've got to protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like paint, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, missy! Now give me that dirty bear. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear, you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? It's not a bad start, right? I want to do this forever! Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? <sighs> I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, Apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yep. I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool! I am so gonna win this thing. 
All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom, then to the right, and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try… Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night! Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! I need help! Please, help! What? Over there! Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights up! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster free's the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs. This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one. Hey, <laughs> there they are. Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all. Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only your face looked more natural. Come on, close! What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. Just gonna rest it on her face. And trace over her entire face. The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Gah! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo! Off! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text! Or look through my camera roll!
think these drawing hacks will come in handy one day? Hey, you never know! Share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more awesome tips and tricks!